What's going on everyone? This is Brian from the Cruise Travelers and we are going to answer a question today that we've gotten a lot of interest about and that is which excursion should I take when I go to the Bahamas? We're going to answer that right here right now but first we want you to jump on click that subscribe button click the like button if you have any questions or comments go ahead and ask them down below we're going to try to get to every single one of them but as for now we're going to jump in and answer that question of which excursion should i take when i go to the bahamas let's go guys Carnival has four destinations in the Bahamas. The first one being Freeport, the second one Half Moon K, then we have Nassau, and then we have Princess K. We're going to start off first of all at Freeport. In the number one excursion in Freeport, Bahamas, is definitely going to be the all-inclusive Reef Snorkel Beach Break Shop. You can have it all when you discover the best snorkeling and beach adventure on the island, complete with all-inclusive food and drinks. You take a 30-minute transfer from Freeport's Harbor to the marina where you'll receive snorkel gear and instructions is what they'll give you. And after uh, about five minutes, uh, they're going to take you over to the beach club where you're going to enjoy open bar that has draft beers, uh, spirits, cocktails, most of the time it's not top shelf, but it's still pretty good. And then there's like a tropical buffet, uh, conch fritters, peas, rice, salad, pasta, roasted potatoes, and much, much more. And then you have a break on the beach. You can play volleyball. You can uh, bask in the sun. But this is a great spot to check out. Now the next spot we're going to check out is Half Moon K, or Key, however you would like to pronounce it. But um, this is an amazing place to stop at. A lot of people have been here and the best known excursion at Half Moon K is definitely Stingray Adventure. Stingray Adventure is where you get up and close and personal with the Southern Stingrays of Half Moon K. This is an excellent excursion if you're bringing kids along. As you can see, that it's only $39.99 for adults and $37.99 for children. That's a pretty low price. What you'll do is you'll take a short tram ride to Stingray Cove for your short orientation where you'll learn about the Stingray's behaviors, their habitat, feeding, breeding, and other fascinating features. After that, you're gonna jump in the water uh, with one of your trainers and you're gonna to get to pet the Stingrays, you're gonna to get to feed the Stingrays. Uh, they're gonna come right up to you. Um, you're not gonna get injured, but um, you'll be able to swim with them and snorkel. It's an amazing event and uh, you should definitely try this one out. This one is number one on the cruise travelers list of must see in Half Moon K. Now the next stop we're gonna make is Nassau. This is one of the more popular ports and they have some amazing options here. But the number one excursion in Nassau, without a doubt, is gonna be the VIP Luxury Sailing. Now with the VIP Luxury Sailing, you're gonna board a 50-foot unique French sailboat. You're gonna spend two and a half hours on there while enjoying good music, unlimited variety of cocktails, that's beer and sparkling wine. You're gonna soak up the sun as the attentive crew takes care of you. If weather permitting, they're gonna take a unique stop where you can dip in the water uh, for a refreshing swim and a quick snorkel. And then you're going to enjoy brightly colored corals, tropical sea fish, while the captain prepares a delicious lunch on board and served on an original Japanese bento box with homemade bread, basket of food on the side. After a healthy feast, you're going to lie back and enjoy and relax a nice cruise across the Caribbean. So this is definitely one of the cruise traveler's favorite spots in the Caribbean, the VIP luxury sailing. You definitely have to check this one out. This is number one on our list in Nassau. Now our next stop on the most amazing excursions in the Bahamas is going to be Princess K. Now with Princess K, 
It's a rather small location and didn't have a lot of options, but the one that we found we really enjoyed the most was Dune Buggy Heritage Adventure Tour. Now this particular excursion is a little pricey, but it's definitely for the adrenaline junkie in you. What they do is they go off-road and engage in a historical sightseeing journey discovering remote beaches while having fun. The first stop will be at Bannerman Town Park where you will go off-road and adventure off to a private secluded beach. Next, you're going to enter the jungle road that will take you down into breathtaking uh, remote beaches and then you enjoy a walk on the beach or you can stay up by the dune buggies in the shade. And as you make your way off the road, they take you to a place called the Angelican Church of the Assumption. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's a mouthful. And where the guides will describe to you how religion fits into the daily life in the out islands. That's these islands that we're talking about. After the church, you hop in your dune buggies and head down to the wishing well and packing house ruins on your adventure. So it's an amazing adventure, definitely for the adrenaline junkie. We really enjoyed this and uh, we definitely think you should try this one out. So that's it guys, that is the must-see excursions in the Bahamas. We started out in Freeport, we went through Half Moon Cay, stopped off in Nassau, and also ended our trip in Princess Cay. We really appreciate every one of you coming along on this little adventure in the Atlantic Ocean and we'd really like for you guys to jump on and click that subscribe button, click that like button, and uh, don't forget, if you have any questions or comments down below, definitely leave them. We'd like to answer those questions for you. But as for myself here at the Cruise Travelers, this is Brian and we will see you on the high seas.